Hello guys, and I'm sure all of you will agree that victories are not only military, but also diplomatic. And 14th of December 2023 is definitely a day of our big diplomatic victory. Because this is the day when EU decides to start accession talks with Ukraine. Ukraine is finally heading back home, to European home, where we belong. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight. Informational warfare is very real. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. Yesterday was a tough day and actually I was a bit depressed, taking into account many things, winter, being tired, but also during Putin's press conference, we had four air raid alerts, we have jets with kinjals targeting Kyiv and other locations in Ukraine, all that fatigue and other stuff, so I was worried. Will the decision of European Union be one we expect? Also, Orban was working really hard, Polish truck drivers blocking the border and many, many other things. They added up to my feeling of disappointment and uh, things that you've actually noticed in the videos. So when the decision came out, and that was a decision to start accession talks with Ukraine and Moldova, I was definitely more than glad. Because this is an important civilizational step for my country. This is a very important gesture for Putin too, because I think he sent so many jets with kinjals to our territories to demonstrate his power and to try and frighten our allies. But once again, he failed. You know that in my videos, I always provide an ordinary Ukrainian perspective on this extraordinary times. So I have to tell you what we think about joining the European Union in some future. I know it is not going to be a fast and simple process, but I know it is real, which is the most important thing. Join to demonstrate your solidarity and subscribe, because we can change a lot in the way the world sees this war and Ukraine and Russia. So hopefully sometime soon we will speak about Putin in The Hague and Ukraine in Brussels. Anyway, it was a really long way of my country to the European Union. And many of our troubles are actually connected with the Ukrainian desire to be a part of the EU, but not to be a part of the Ruskimir. I'm sure this is a correct choice because look at Russian values, look at their attitude to human life, dignity, freedom of choice, and also simply count how many people want to move to Russia. All these Russian politicians who speak about the great Russia very rarely keep their children and lovers inside Russia. Most of them are suffering in the rotting West. Question why? Ukrainians share values that people in the European Union protect. Actually, we protect them with our blood. And it is not for the first time. The reason for the Revolution of Dignity, which is also known as Maidan Revolution, was our desire to join the European Union. And European Union was answering us with support, but Russian president decided to put Yanukovych, who is a totally artificial political figure created to annex Ukraine in future, just as they did with Belarus. So Putin helped Yanukovych to become a president in Ukraine and Yanukovych, despite the desire of Ukrainian people, announced that no, we're not going to sign association with the European Union. And that is exactly with what Maidan revolution started. So no, it is not CIA, it is not a coup, it is not anything else what Russian propaganda tries to make some people believe. It was Ukrainian protest against the choice of the future they don't want. We didn't want to join Russian trade union. We did not want to cooperate with Belarus and other totally <clears throat> controlled by Putin states. And we feel we belong to Europe. We are a part of Europe. I'm always very emotional when you share the stories that your countries uh, share with Ukraine. Actually, if we look deep into history, if we forget about this pretty short period of uh, communist occupation of my country, we will see 
that there are centuries of uh, cooperation, centuries of trade, centuries of cultural exchange between my country and your countries. And um, I remember how people discovered all that at the start of Russian war, when they realized that some of your princesses, some of your scientists, some of your businessmen are actually of Ukrainian or Kyiv Rus origin. And we are extremely connected. And I'm so grateful and glad that you demonstrate your trust and your love to Ukrainian people by accepting us into the European family. I want to say by accepting us back. After the years of this iron cat in prison. Actually, uh, after the end of the Second World War, Churchill felt really bad about countries like mine, countries like Poland, like uh, Czechia, who were hidden behind the Iron Curtain, behind the totalitarian communist regime, and millions actually died during these decades, but now we are coming back home to Europe. And thank you so much for this trust that you demonstrate. And resilience, because Russia tries to frighten all of us, but fear is not a solution to the problems that we face in the modern world. So, I do understand this is going to be a long process, a complicated process, but it is also a very good plan. And this plan is getting more and more real. It also proves that Putin achieved just the contrary of what he wanted with this invasion, because we are militarized, we are nationalized, and we are moving in the direction of our EU future. And believe me, millions of Russians would love to be able to travel to the European Union to study, but they choose hatred to cooperation. They choose war to uh, peace and innovation. And it's extremely important to stop them. We've sacrificed a lot, but I'm sure we will win more. So this 14th of December 2023 is definitely an important day that all Ukrainians discuss. We all want to join to the European Union. I don't know people who don't want that. Once again, we know it is not a solution to uh, defense economic problems, but it is a final divorce with a dying empire that still thought it can return us to its zone of influence. No, it will change and I'm sure we will witness the collapse of Russian Empire and potentially birth of some new democratic states. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, demonstrate your solidarity and help us fight informational warfare. Tomorrow I invite you for our live stream question and answer session at 9 p.m. Kyiv time. I missed you and hope you will be able to join me. Thank you for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, introduce yourself to our presence in our merch shop. The link is below this video in the description. Remember to join Instagram threads and Twitter, but most importantly, thank you for standing with Ukraine and thank you for seeing us, feeling us, and hopefully together we will be stronger. I have no doubts. Slava Ukraini!